Alrighty, six days until Canada's Wonderland is going to be open, and I'm really excited. I know you guys are really excited, so what better way to kick off this day six with the six most likely next editions that Canada's Wonderland will receive, not in order, or maybe it's in order, who knows. Anyways, nonetheless, let's kick it right off with Harmony Hall, Fest Haas, um, that I think Wonderland will most likely get, um, and I think we are overdue for one, um, and I think that we're gonna get one, and I think we're gonna get one a lot sooner than people, um, think. Um, anyways, nonetheless, super excited about it, um, and I couldn't be more excited if this ends up happening. I think that Wonderland needs a huge upgrade to their food offerings, and this would be a step in the right direction, and I definitely think it would be very Canadian-themed, and I think it would be located somewhere around the mountain or somewhere in Frontier Canada. Who knows? Nonetheless, um, I'm excited to get back into the park to do some construction updates on what 2022 holds. Anyways, what is next? What could possibly Canada's Wonderland have up their sleeves or what could be in the future? Um, I definitely think a dark ride is coming. I think with Winterfest's success, they're going to be looking at more rides that are indoor or weather acceptable. I don't know if that's the right wording, but can operate in colder temperatures. And I think Action Theater is the perfect location for a flying theater or some sort of dark ride um, in any form. And I think a flying theater would fit perfectly and this smaller scale, not too tall ride, maybe they could even redo the Action Theater a little bit, who knows. But I think having one on either side would be absolutely amazing and it would help with capacity. And I think a flying, you know, flying through Canada because Action Theater is technically in Frontier Canada now uh, would do wonders. I think this would be perfect for that building and it would bring purpose back to it. So, <laughs> hmm. I wonder, what could be next? What other attraction is most likely in Canada's Wonderland's future? This one's often talked about, a wing coaster. I think a wing coaster very similar to Gatekeeper is a very likely for Canada's Wonderland. Now, the whole debate of would it be launched like Thunderbird or would it be a lift hill like Gatekeeper comes into play. A lot of enthusiasts are really hungry or thirsty, whatever you want to call it, for a launched wing coaster, but I actually think Cedar Fair would like their record back and they might build the tallest wing coaster at Canada's Wonderland to take that record back but also we know Canada's Wonderland from conversations that we have had with higher ups at Canada's Wonderland they love their record breaking steel coasters and I don't see them moving away from tallest fastest longest and I think that we will see tallest fastest longest wing coaster coming to Canada's Wonderland in the next five years I really do it is a capacity machine this thing does like two million guests a year something that Canada's Wonderland hasn't seen, I don't think, in terms of capacity on a ride. So I think this is something that they're going to really want to bring to Canada's Wonderland. It's reliable up until late, covering my face right now. Um, and it is a capacity um, machine. So I definitely think this is in Wonderland's future. As much as people don't want one, it would be a huge marketing draw in terms of getting guests into the park. It would look stunning in the skyline. It would almost be like a B&M in each four corners of the dry park or thrill park. So that would be really cool in the skyline. I know you guys are groaning, but it's probably going to happen and it's going to be amazing. Don't worry. I don't like wing coast. I don't like gatekeeper that much. It's amazing. Craig loves it. So I guess GP love it. <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, it it's amazing. This is one that I really want, okay? And this is one that I think will happen. Um, an air race. I definitely think an air race model is super likely for Canada's Wonderland. Um, it would definitely fit in our lineup extremely well. There are so many different themes for this ride too. If you just even do a Google image search, there are so many differing themes and they're just stunning. Like look at the one built at Fiesta Texas. It was stunning as well and I just, they could put this anywhere. It could be medieval theme. It could be Frontier Canada theme. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, I would love one at Canada's Wonderland. And it's thrilling. It's unique. And I'm personally, I think people would just stare at this thing. Would watch and stare. And I think it would do wonders at Canada's Wonderland. What's next? What could possibly fit in at Canada's Wonderland that we don't already have? 
obviously a Scream and Swing. I think this would do wonders at Canada's Wonderland as well. I know it's very similar. We have a lot of swinging rides, but this is just totally different if you've actually been on one. These are absolutely amazing, and they are very popular amongst my friend group that have ridden them, and I think one at Wonderland would do wonders, and I'm really, really, really hoping that we get one very shortly. Last but not least, number six. Again, some of these are in order. Some of these are not in order. Who knows? Again, we don't know what the future holds outside of 2023, 2024. But nonetheless, uh, a mock double launch coaster. And I'm going to even get a little more specific. I think that Wonderland would go down the route of a spinning mock double launch coaster. And my reasoning is Canada's Wonderland has constantly worded itself as like the most diverse coaster lineup in the world i believe they used to do that and i think they would want to continue down that path of being very diverse we already have a sit down coaster looping coaster we don't and we already have a, a launched uh sit down coaster i think that they would want to claim the spinning we don't have a spinning coaster so we would get a mock double launch spinning coaster i can just them. very similar to copperhead strike but maybe with you know spinning trains and I do think it would go in Frontier Canada, maybe Medieval Fair, but I do think maybe that would be the completion of Frontier Canada, a mock double launch, or who knows? Anyways, that's pretty much it. I definitely uh, think that this is a very solid prediction for Canada's Wonderland, these six editions. I could even add a seventh if I really wanted to spoil you guys, or even share my thoughts. I think Fire Chaser Express at Dollywood would be a great addition as a family coaster at Canada's Wonderland. I don't know how likely that is, but it would be perfect, and I do think it is somewhat likely, but the six I presented here are very likely, um, and I want to hear from you guys. Comment down below what you think the six most likely additions to Canada's Wonderland are in the nearer future um, down below. I definitely want to hear from you guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, what you think, and share this video for others to enjoy. Head on over to our Discord, because that's where a lot of our conversation takes place. Link down below. Um, and thanks so much for supporting the channel and watching the video. Six days to go, guys. Six days. Super excited. Bye.